really nice so far I had a nice morning spent a lot of time in the garden and then I actually went to the garden center and I picked up a couple fiddle leaf figs and I planted them out front actually I've been eyeing them for a while and fiddle leaf figs at least in our area have become a lot more affordable in recent years I've noticed I remember when I first bought our our very first fiddle leaf fig it was a lot more expensive than they are now so that's kind of nice they're such beautiful plants but I'm excited to see how they grow outside I think Florida's climate will actually be really wonderful for them because they are a tropical plant so that was what we did this morning and then I took a nice shower I actually went to a hot yoga as well which always makes me feel so uh, rejuvenated isn't really the word I'm looking for but it just makes me feel very balanced that's more of what I would describe it and then I took a shower like I said and now we're packing because tomorrow morning I'm actually headed to Napa California for a bachelorette for my friend Haley I'm so excited never been to Napa before we're flying into San Francisco which I have spent some time in San Francisco but this time we're just flying there and then driving over to Napa and we'll be there for four days so I'm packing up now it's actually a pretty easy trip to pack for because we have like a dress code for each day or yeah I guess you would call it a uniform so on one day we're wearing black and then on one day we're wearing hot pink and then one day we're wearing a shirt that Haley made for all her bridesmaids. So that's kind of the gist, but we'll of course pack some other outfits, bathing suit, PJs, make sure we have all those necessities, but I'm really excited to spend time with you all. And I'm making a yummy recipe for dinner, which I believe I have a whole cook with me on because this is one of our favorite recipes. It's chimichurri black bean bowls they're absolutely delicious so I'm honestly um, thinking we'll do an early dinner because I'm just ready to enjoy that and then also this evening I'm taking a class called seeing God through nature and I'm so excited about it so we have that to look forward to as well but let's get some packing out of the way so that I don't have to worry about that tonight so we can go to bed early and get up for our flight before I start packing, I'm going to have a little cleanup session because I've definitely let the clothes pile up, which just happens basically once a week. I just need to take a minute and hang some, hang some pieces up. I love this jacket 
so much. I rented it from Newly, but it's the designer spell which is an australian brand and i love all their pieces i'm starting a spell collection because they're just my absolute favorite it is basically like you're wearing a quilt so super comfortable but also just the details and colors it's really beautiful it would be especially beautiful for autumn time i feel like just the color palette is making me remember autumn but i think i'm gonna wear it tomorrow on the airplane because again it's like wearing a quilt so it'll be nice and comfortable and since it is so big it'll be nice to not have to fit it in my small carry-on so I'll probably wear it with some jeans and sneakers and a t-shirt but I had to show you because I'm very excited about this and I know a lot of you have noticed that I I love wearing color so I very rarely wear black but two of the nights or one of the nights she wants us all to wear black and then of course she'll wear white um, and so I have a whole packing cube of all of my black pieces and then I also ordered a black dress from Newly because I'll show you my closet I bet you we cannot even find one piece of black coat clothing because all of them okay there's a black leather jacket but other than that I like brown I like wearing brown a lot but I really don't wear black that often it is fun to switch it up though I also wanted to show you I recently ordered this jewelry organizer to set on our dresser because I didn't have one and I would just lay out my necklaces on the dresser which was fine but this definitely elevates things and just makes it a lot more organized and I feel like it's been more fun to pick out my jewelry for each day because I can just visually see all the pieces super organized and it's kind of fun to pair them that way when it's more visual than just piled right here. rolling in I love it April showers and now I'm going to do some cooking I've been meaning to make hummus for weeks and weeks and I just noticed we still have some tahini so I'm gonna make some spicy hummus and then some pickled red onion we have quite a bit of red onion right now from the farmers market so we'll put that to good use and I know it won't go bad if I pickle it and then the last thing I'm gonna make is chimichurri and that's for our recipe tonight, which I'm gonna go ahead and start cooking dinner fairly soon because I'm getting hungry and then I have that class I mentioned later. So I wanna make sure I have enough time to prep everything. some snacks for my flight tomorrow got a honey crisp apple the absolute best kind of looks like a heart <laughs> and then some tea some honey mustard pretzels these are phenomenal I could eat the whole bag they are just so so delicious and then a blend of some almonds Brazil nuts and goji berries
never go on the most random rabbit holes. I have recently been so fascinated with the Amazon rainforest, the Amazon river. It's so mysterious because it's so massive and a lot of it hasn't even been explored and there's indigenous tribes that live there and scientists really want to go. This is all what I've learned. I'm absolutely not an expert on this. Also, can you hear the rain? It is storming now. We have quite the commotion outside, a lot of rain and thunder, but the... It's just daddy, don't worry. It's storming. I was just telling them how I'm fascinated with the Amazon rainforest right now. I just oh, watched an interesting YouTube video about it. The Amazon rainforest? Yep. It's so interesting, but scientists want to go talk to the tribes and learn about them and everything. But there's a law that the Brazilian government made where they can't because many different reasons, but these indigenous tribes are not, they have not been exposed to our modern diseases and modern life. So if, if they were to contact someone of modern times, they could very well like get really sick or who knows. So very interesting rabbit hole. It is. Tell me more. I know. I was looking for documentaries, but I couldn't really find documentaries, just YouTube videos. So let me know if you have any good <laughs> documentaries, but maybe because it's just so hard to explore, they can't really make an in-depth. I wanted like a National Geographic show about it, but I didn't find any. You can make one. <laughs> you want me to go to the Ames? <laughs> Should that be our next travel vlog? <laughs> <laughs> incredible I'm still di digesting all the information and I'm so excited to research more and the course is six weeks so we'll definitely continue to take a deep dive but I really am so in awe of just the evidence of God's beauty especially through nature and how how it's not all of this creation is not by chance like just to think that it would be by chance is so discrediting to God as a designer and just the intentionality of everything and how mind-blowing little pieces of nature are and how it's all connected. It really is so amazing. So I'm excited to dive into that more. I'm sure I'll share bits and pieces, but it's about nine o'clock now and I'm going to finish packing up. I really am almost complete, so I'm so glad we spent some time working on that earlier so we can get cozy, get to bed. I am taking three books on this trip because I'm not taking my laptop or anything and the flight from Florida to San Francisco is about six hours so I won't be working at all on the flight so I plan to read, maybe watch a movie or two if they have the TVs on the plane but the books I'm taking are Every Summer After which I'm currently reading and I, I recently talked about this in a vlog saying how 
I wasn't really into it, especially after reading Love and Other Words. But now that I'm reading more into it, I now that I'm reading more of it, I am getting more intrigued and excited to know what happens. I think what I should my my faux pas with this is that I shouldn't have read two books with the same the very similar trope back to back if that makes sense just because it's so similar like it would have been good to maybe read a non-fiction historical fiction or something else and then read this just so that I spaced them out a bit more that's that's what I'm that's what I'm thinking but I'm still gonna read it and I am enjoying it now so that's good and then the sound of a wild snail eating is my other book and this is uh, earthly adventure of a woman in a gastropod so this is our book club book of the month that was my pick so <laughs> hopefully it's good I am gonna miss book club though because it's actually tomorrow so I'll already be in California but I'm excited to dive into this haven't even started that yet and then the last one is the rumor by Ellen Hildebrand I've checked this out at the library last week and it's just an, another um, summer read I feel like usually her books have a little hinge of mystery as well so that's always entertaining but I'm gonna pack these up and then I have my snacks vitamins all of that but I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here as I get ready but thank you all so much for watching I really hope you enjoyed today's vlog I hope you all are well and I'm excited to see you next bye